Aquarius. I'm Sarah B and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy and thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for your patience while I was um, getting my act together and moving. Um, still pretty empty in my house um, and my new location. You can hear the echo uh, from the emptiness. I really am trying to get my, uh, my stuff together, but it's taking longer than I anticipated, but I didn't want to waste another month not seeing you guys. I missed you so much. I hope the feeling is the same. Um, I am shuffling for the overall energy for this August reading, this August general reading. So let's see what Spirit has for my Aquarius Collective. Thank you. Aquarius and their greatest good. Thank you. Oh, that was loud. Okay, so we have Dragonfly Spirit Change. And we have Elves Playfulness. So I am seeing that this summer has been you've been having a really good time um you're able to let down your guard um you i feel like before the summer you were worrying a lot wondering how you were going to get things done spreading yourself pretty thin but i feel like you have let out your child like um qualities um your your child self and you have let down your hair and you are able to have fun, have a good time, um, be more playful, do more things, um, explore and um, make plans that you, you know, you anticipated on making and haven't. So uh, you have been having a lot of fun doing things, keeping active, which I think is really good for you right now. Um, I do see that there's a bunch of changes in your future, like a bunch of changes. You are being guided heavily by um, angels and guardians. There's a lot of light around you right now. Um, I do see so many guides and guardians too. Um, and I think that's the light that I'm seeing. There's a lot, a lot of of light around you, which is beautiful, beautiful. You are being protected, most of all is the word I'm hearing, not just guided, but protected. So um, you are on a good path right now. I hear, like I said, I'm hearing changes. Uh, plenty of changes for you right now. Newness, a new cycle is about to start for you. So this is gonna be a good time for you. Um, see what we have here. Spirit, what does the Aquarius Collective need to know for their greatest good for August 2023? What does the Aquarius Collective need to know for their greatest good and for the, thank you, for the good of others for August? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Magician. And that came out in the challenge position. We have the Four of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles was in reverse as well. Um, the Magician is telling me that you are manifesting, but you're kind of being half-ass about it. Um... You're manifesting, you're praying, whatever you want to call it, but you're not putting in the work that needs to be done with manifesting. Um, you know, if you want something, if you have a lot of drive to get something, you have to light a fire under your ass and have the drive to do it. So um, this is kind of just spirit saying, okay, get off your haunches and do something about this manifestation that you want. It's not going to just appear to you in your living room one day because you asked for it. No, you have to work for, for your manifestations. I hate to tell any of you if this is the first time you're hearing this, but yeah, manifestations don't just come. Um, there's work that goes into it. There's hard work that goes into it, whether it be to yourself, whether it be establishing something, 
um, you know, that you want to create, be it a business or, um, you know, a degree or something. Look, I have paint all over me. I tell you, I have been working really hard on my new place. <laughs> I just saw that in the, my reflection, so I apologize for the interruption, but I was like, if you're wondering, I'm not a sloppy B-I-T-C-H. Um, but there's something you also need to let go of. You've been holding on to something and you need to let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Um, this could be, gosh, it could be anything. It could be money. Maybe you've been saving for something and it's time to um, put the money out that you need to to make money. I just heard, gotta spend money to make money. Um, so maybe you are starting a business. Maybe you are... Um, doing that but you have to you know working hard saving your money sometimes you have to um i'm hearing that you know maybe it's a situation you have to let go of an opportunity that you thought was lucrative that you have to let go of there's something that there's a situation a certain energy that needs to be let go of so you can move on um and i'm hearing that you might have made a big purchase are you gonna make a big purchase let's soon this is the queen of pentacles and P queen of pentacles is like this woman well woman not gender specific but they save and save and save and save they are um really really good with with their finances they stash away they um because they want to live a certain way and that certain way is a lot to them like they she is not so much in this card but in other cards she, she's usually surrounded by like really like vines and it's very very um bountiful and uh and uh you know she's worked hard for all that for this prosperity and but in the reverse it's like uh maybe you made an investment um Maybe you put, you know, something aside for a purchase or maybe you just invested in something. Um, so that's why we might have the queen in reverse. So let's go ahead and clarify this magician in the challenge position for our Aquarius Collective. Wheel of Fortune. So the Okay, so we have Page of Swords, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. Now there's some... Okay, so somebody might be going back to and taking classes for a higher learning situation. Um... Or there might be children involved in a relationship. And um, this could have to do with go back, going back to school. It is August. Um, learning, focus. Uh, maybe you're having to change people's schedules because they have to get ready to go back to school. And they need to focus on getting up early and going to getting into that routine of, um, you know, something they haven't had to do for the last 10 weeks. But I'm hearing that this is a lucky time for you. Um, you're ready to move into the next cycle, but you have to work on it. Um, good things are going to be happening. Uh, something And something is coming in quick for you. Very quickly. But I'm also seeing that there might be a divine masculine in your life that is not feeling very King of Wands-ish. Now, the King of Wands is a uh, energy of a lot of passion, a lot of spontaneity, a lot of, um, you know, everybody knows them, great conversation. Um, but this divine masculine, this divine... Uh, king of wands in your energy is not 
may not seem very King of Wands-ish, might be kind of like lethargic. And uh, so you might want to address that if they haven't uh, communicated this with you. It might be a good time to talk about why they're feeling that way. Um, you know, maybe they need to talk to you because it's very unusual for a King of Wands energy to feel this way. But also King of Wands energy, like they keep up this role of being like super energetic, super positive. That's the King of Wands energy. So they might be falling into depression or something along those lines. So you just might want to check in on this person, whoever it is, they might be going through something. But I see that some, there's messages coming your way or something good, something really good that you're passionate about is coming your way and it's coming in fast. So that's exciting news. Something you've been manifesting. If you would only work, like this is like, get to manifesting. If you're not doing it, doing do it because something wants to come to you. You just have to ask for it or manifest it. Do it. Tell them I sent you. All right, let's see. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Pentacles. Thank you. I got one more. Thank you. Okay, so we have the King of Swords in reverse. So somebody might be warming up to you. Somebody that you thought was frigid might be warming up to you, but you do not like it. You're like, get away from me. Maybe this is somebody in your office. Uh, maybe this is somebody who, um, you know, is approaching you and you're just like, you're not on board. Let's put it that way. This, this divine masculine is coming in for this divine feminine. And you are looking straight away from this person and you're just like, peace out. My cup is not filled for you. Um, this person might try to message you. This person might be trying to follow you on social media. Just an FYI there. Um, this person is trying to get to know you hard. But you're keeping up this like, no, I don't want to get to know you. You're not putting on any kind of uh, falsities here. Um, you are definitely like, look, you're like, I have other options. <laughs> and you're not one of them. So, yeah, you are not having, you don't want the opportunity at all to get to know this person. They might be trying to warm up to you. Like I said, they might be trying to friend you on social media or maybe say they know you from somewhere. Um, but you're not taking the bait, which is a good thing. All right, let's move on to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. What do we have for Aquarius Collective for the Queen of Pentacles? What do you mean by that, Spirit? For our Aquarius Collective. Thank you. We have winner, winner, chicken dinner here. This is uh, the world card. So it looks like, like I said, you are, yes, you, you put money out. You're investing in something. But to me, it seems like it's for your greatest good. You're going to collect dividends on that um, once it comes into fruition. You're going to get more pleasure. Yeah, this is the high priestess. High priestess means somebody might be coming at you, pushing your buttons. Um, somebody might try to get a reaction out of you. High priestess is the energy that tells you don't engage. Walk away. It's not worth the fight. Do not even waste your breath on this person. Uh, walk away. They're trying to get you. They're trying to instigate something. But you in high priestess energy are mature enough to be like, I don't got time for you. I'm walking away. And that's what you're going to do. So remember, when somebody's trying to push your buttons, remember your high priestess energy. Walk away and be proud of it. All right, let's get, try to get one more card. All right, so we're working with equal give and take here, a balance. Um, maybe you're being called, somebody might be asking you for a loan, or you might be paying off somebody there's some kind of like um you might even be donating to charity or raising money for something is what i'm hearing um because maybe you were in a situation at one time and um you're being called to now 
you know, pay it forward. So you might be in that energy of paying something back. Um, now that you are in a winning position and, um, you know, with this high priestess, the best way to do, uh, something outstanding for somebody is not tell some people that you're doing something outstanding for somebody. So maybe you just want to bite your lip while you're paying it forward. Um, and just do the, do the good thing. Like nobody's watching, you know? Spirit is, your higher power is, and that's all that matters. Karma will come to you. That energy will come back to you, and you will be rewarded. All right, so let's move on. We're going to conclude this reading with a couple of oracle cards. Spirit, what is the concluding message for... Our Aquarius Collective and their greatest good. Concluding message for Aquarius. What do they need to know? Thank you. We have last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. So I'm going to read from the book for this. Last quarter moon in Virgo. It would be lovely to think that manifesting means just snapping your fingers and magically making everything better. Wasn't I just saying about manifesting? However, there's more to it than that. Work, work, work. Past worries, mean comments, self-doubt, and fears need to be dealt with before you can start to feel good. A tedious task may need to be taken care of before you can move forward and make that magic happen. Worries slow down your ability to make magic. So attend to the details, then you can have fun. So just like I said, work goes into it. Now it could be self-work, like I said, um, that might mean moving forward, but I know you guys have it inside you um, because look at all this awesome things that are going to happen once you put that work in. Um, address the details, attend to the details, I apologize, and uh, make that magic happen. All right, thank you for tuning in, Aquarius. I love you guys so much, and I thank you for supporting me while I was um, in my transition of moving. It means a lot, and I'm glad to be back, and I can't wait to deliver more messages for you. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.